This week with math, we've been talking about the different operations, and different reasons why we would add or subtract or multiply. There's one last operation we haven't talked about yet. Who wants to take a guess? What's the last operation we haven't talked about? Brianna? Division. Division. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to go into my classwork, go to my notebooks, and find my math notebook. Okay. So we already talked about addition, about subtraction and multiplication. Now let's take a look at division. Now, division does have something in common with multiplication. Both of them have to be done equally. And you'll see some of the same words. We have equally, equal, equal again. Both of these have to be done in equal groups or equal amounts. The difference is that multiplication, you end up with a bigger number. You get more and more and more. Division is the opposite. You get less and less and less. So some of our keywords, our hints, are if they use words like every better? and per. Yes, ma'am. I cannot see your screen. Try reloading the call hiding and see if that helps you. Okay. Okay. So some of the words that we have here would be like every and per. We saw again, same thing in multiplication because it's both equal. So every and per. If they ask you to share equally. So real quick, show of hands. Who, if you have a brother or sister, if mom or dad has ever asked you, hey, share with your brother or share with your sister, who here has ever had a brother or sister who tried to give them like a really small piece and they get a really big piece of whatever it was? Okay, that is not division. It's important in division that when they share, they share equally. So it's not, here you, get a, it's not here you get a little corner of the candy bar and I get the rest of it. It has to be equal. Okay, they might ask you to split or to separate something. They might use the word divisor. Brother and sister. They might say divide or quotient. They might ask you to put something in half or put it into equal groups. They might try to get you to put it into rows or groups of a certain number. So they might say rows of and then a number. Rows of five or rows of three. Or they might ask you, how many groups can you make? We said multiplication is a lot like addition. It just happens over and over again with that same number. Division is very similar. The only difference is with division, oh, sorry. With division, you're not adding. You're subtracting over and over and over. I can see here, I have nine. And then I'm going to subtract three. And then I'm going to subtract three again. And then I'm going to subtract three again. Division is just subtraction that you keep on doing over and over. But again, it has to be equal or even subtraction. So minus three, minus three, minus three. If it's that same number that you keep subtracting over and over again, that's division. Or again, if you're sharing equally, not little piece, big piece, Equal sharing. Haley. I got the division. Um, two sisters had eight LOLs. They split them into four each. So, Mr. Um, oh, hold on, baby. Yes, I did. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my goodness, it's echoing. It's you. It's you. No. It's you, actually. 
actually. Well, we'll see. Okay. Kylie, when Kaylee's talking, will you just turn your computer down just a little bit, baby? Then it won't echo. Then it won't echo. Okay. Um, so... You said two sisters had four LOLs, and then what happened? Um, the how much LOLs did the third sister get? Well, there, we're not sharing or anything. You're just saying there's a, a group of LOLs. But if you said there are two sisters, and there are four LOLs, and they want to share them equally... Because again, we're, we don't want to have one stingy sister that goes, I'm going to get four and then you get, you can have like the hairbrush for one. We want them to be equal, to be fair. So if you had two sisters and maybe they were sharing their dolls and they wanted to share equally, then you could say, how many would they have? This is Kylie. the first sister. <laughs> Um. Oh, me and Kaylee have like um three of these dolls, except for one's an elephant, the other a tiger, and this one's a giraffe. This one was mine, and then uh, our brother Junior didn't want his elephant one because Ashton picked them out for Christmas. Okay, Kylie, for sister. right now, baby. If we're gonna turn it into a math problem, that's fine. But right now, we need to focus on our math. Okay. Who can give me a division problem? What's a problem we could do that we would need division for? Alexa. There was two sisters. They okay. had one chocolate bar. Okay. The little sister gave one little piece to her big sister, then the little sister gave herself a one big piece. Okay. Remember, division has to be equal. So would that be division? No, they'd have to have equal pieces, right? But we could change that a little bit. So two sisters, they have one chocolate bar. Right? So we could say if the chocolate bar has... Because you know how the Hershey's bar have little rectangles on it? What if we say that the, the chocolate bar has 10 pieces? Then we could say, how many pieces does each sister get? Because then they'd have to share equally. Yeah. And we wouldn't have the one stingy sister going, I'm going to give you the corner, and then I'm going to get the rest of the chocolate bar. Who can give me another one? Something where we have to share equally. What's the time that we have to share equally? Bailey? The teacher gave me 25 papers. Okay. The teacher said, give one student each one paper. How many papers? I forgot the last one. Okay, well, you had a good start. So the teacher gives you papers, right? You said 25 papers. And then teacher tells you, give each person one paper. Then you could say something like um, maybe how many... Well, let's change it a little bit. There are 25, there are 25 students. Okay, so we're going to switch it around. We're going to start with the students first. I, got, I, I know what I was going to say now. Okay. I, I'm going to change it. Okay, the teacher gave me 25 papers. Um, Pretty many, little shirt. 25 oh, students. Hold on real quick, Bailey. Hold on. Go ahead, Bailey. Then, then we have to split. Or, okay, now I forgot. Okay. Well, again, let's let's start with students first. There are 25 students. The teacher gave you some papers and let's let's make it a little more difficult the teacher told you to give uh, or 
sorry. So we have 30 papers, right? There are 15 students. That's a little closer to our classroom. So the teacher gave you 30 papers. There are 15 students and you have to give, and again, here's the important part. You have to give an equal number of papers to each student. Then we could say, how many papers does each student get? Remember, division is very, very uh, specific. It has to be equal. You can't have a little bit and then a lot. What's another uh, example of a time when you'd have to share? So we said like candies with our, with our brothers or sisters. You have to share there. We said papers. When we're in class, everybody has to get the paper. But what's another time when you'd have to share? Bella, what's a time when you have to share? What's another time, Bella? When what else would you have to share? Like Okay, blankets. So let's say that you have a lot of blankets. How many blankets should we start off with, Bella? Five. Okay, five blankets. So let's say that let's use let's use a uh, brother or sister as an example. So you have five blankets at your house. You have to share with your brother. Then we could say, how many blankets should each person get? And that would be a division problem. You'd have to figure out if you're being even, if you're being fair and equal, how many blankets does each person get? Because otherwise one person might be really cold at night and the one person would be really warm. Mm, they would each get one blanket. Well, they could each get two and then there'd have to be one that is left over. You had five. And then the other one, you couldn't give it to anyone because then it wouldn't be fair. Someone would have more blankets than the other person. Mm -hmm. Another one that I think of is like pizza. When you have pizza, like a pizza party, and you order a whole pizza, you can't just give a whole pizza to one person and then everybody else gets one slice. Would that be fair? I wouldn't want to go to that pizza party. So if we had a pizza party, we'd have to be fair with how much pizza everyone gets, right? We'd have to make sure everybody yeah. can have pizza, so that way nobody ends up hungry. Yep. So a pizza party would be a good, uh, num a good number sentence or a word problem for a division. If they had... It's a big pizza party. If they had 50 slices of pizza and eight people were at the party how many slices of pizza could each person have then you'd have to be fair that's a lot that would be it would be a good pizza party plenty of pizza lots of people it'd be fun all right it's a lot of people though it is a lot of people all right we'll stop there for today with our division